Hey y'all, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a recipe with y'all. As you can see in the title, this is my mom's homemade garlic bread. It's one of my favorite things that she cooks and I just got the recipe from her and I was going to make it last night and then I thought, why not film it and share it with y'all? It turned out amazing. We devoured it, it was so good. <laughs> and I just wanted to share it with you. So that's what this video is going to be. Two things I do want to apologize for, just real quick. One, I am on vacation, so background is a little wonky. I do apologize for that. And two, filming this video at night was not a good idea. <laughs> um, I just, I wanted to film it for y'all when I was making it last night for dinner. And I'm, you know, I wasn't gonna not make it for dinner when that's what I planned to make. So I just did it. We will make do with the artificial lighting and all the yellowness. I'll try to correct it as much as I can, but you know, it's not gonna be the best quality lighting but I just wanted to share this with y'all so much that I didn't want to have to refilm it I didn't want to have to wait a couple of days to make it again so this is what you get <laughs> so if you love this recipe please give this video a thumbs up if you make it please let me know I would love to see pictures or if you guys just comment below that'd be awesome and let's just get into the video all right so here are all of the ingredients they are not a lot so let's just get into it first we just have our loaf of bread this is just an uncut Italian loaf then we have some olive oil, I usually just use the mild. We have Parmesan cheese, some minced garlic, some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, some butter, this is my favorite kind, and then we just have some tin foil. So first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven. We're just gonna set it to bake at 400 degrees. So obviously you'll need a cutting board and then we're just going to take our Italian loaf and we are going to cut our own slices into it. I like to do this because I like the slices nice and thick so they can hold all of the ingredients. So we're just going to cut through all of the bread and I usually do slices about I would say an inch thick. Normally I wouldn't use a cutting board on top of the stove top but it was the best lighting that I could find so let's just ignore that for now. all of the bread is cut we're just gonna take some butter I try to um, warm this up a bit and we're just gonna cut chunks into it and then put a chunk between each slice of bread these chunks are about that size as you can see I don't really have exact measurements but it just needs to be nice and buttery so you put those in between each slice of bread After all the butter is in between the slices, I usually like to take a knife and just kind of try to spread it out a little bit more evenly so more of the bread is covered in the butter when it bakes. Next up is where the olive oil comes in. I like to just take probably about half a spoonful between each slice of bread, usually about the same amount as we have the butter in there just to oil it up really nicely. After every slice is finished, we now take our Italian seasoning and we just use a dash of that between each slice of bread. Again, I don't have exact measurements for this. I would say uh, probably like two tablespoons for the entire loaf, so just as much as you'd like, honestly. We do the same thing with the minced garlic. This is totally up to taste. If you love garlic like I do, you'll probably want to use a bit more. If you don't love garlic that much, like big chunks of garlic, maybe a little bit less. But just the same as the Italian seasoning, probably about two spoonfuls for the entire loaf just spread out between each slice. And 
after that, we just take some salt and pepper and you just sprinkle a little bit between each slice of bread as well. Honestly, not sure if this step is really necessary, but it's what my mom does, so gotta listen to her. And lastly, we have the Parmesan cheese. This, again, basically like everything else, is just however much you want. So if you want really cheesy garlic bread, you're going to want to add some more. Here, I just added a little bit between each slice just to give it some extra flavor. And then finally, we just wrap the loaf of bread in some tin foil. This helps keep it together, and this is what it bakes in. Here, I just use one sheet underneath and then one sheet to cover the top. We finish preparing the bread we just go back to the oven it should be fully heated at 400 degrees and we're just gonna put the bread in there for about 10 minutes after we've patiently waited you can go in and take the top part of the tin foil off of the bread this is just to help brown and crisp the tops for the rest of baking and then we just leave it in there for about five minutes or so and then after that time has passed, your garlic bread should be done, so you can just take it out and let it cool for a little bit, and then enjoy. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It is so delicious, just like it looks, and it goes great with some Alfredo noodles or just some regular spaghetti and meatballs. We had some Alfredo noodles here, and it was amazing. that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said previously, if you tried this out and I highly suggest you do, please let me know. It's so much better than any frozen garlic bread you can find and it's really easy to make. It's just so good. But anyways, I'll see you all next week with another video and if you like cooking videos like this, please give this a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more. Bye.